All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today we are, I guess, doing a victory lap. So the other day we actually got our Crocodile Sanctuary. And what that is, is like getting all three tier 10 horses. And I figured <clears throat> today I'm going to buy a tier eight courser and then use all these event like fruit thingies and see if we can make another tier nine. Um, why are we doing this? I don't know. I just wanted to do it. So anyway, been leveling up my new Doom Horse. I actually think it's pretty cool. I still think, though, if you are going for a tier 9 or tier 10, the Pegasus is definitely the most useful overall. Um, they all have their own uses, but I just think that Pegasus is, for the most part, the best one. So, with that said, I bought a tier 8 Courser earlier. They're actually pretty expensive these days. I don't know why. I'm just, well, actually, it's not that bad. It's like an hour of grinding for it, but whatever. So, yeah, Courser training. It's been a while since I've done this. Each click for normal cost, like those one, like these thingies, probably around um, 100 mil in crons, or I guess 300 if you buy it from vendor. And then... You need about a hundred of them for your first attempt. This is like what 300, 400 mil per click, I think, these days, which is actually pretty cheap compared to going for tier tens, which is like two weeks and two billion. But either way, um, starting at zero, let's see if we can get one. Ideally, I think I want a Pegasus though, because I think that's the one that actually sells on the market. But the one we don't really want is. Um, a doom. But either way, if I get a doom, it literally doesn't even matter. Alright, so usually the first one is always the most expensive. You got 100 or 200? I think it's 100, right? Alright, well, you, you're supposed to use crons for every step of the way. Just because it is actually worth it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, here we go. Oh, it has to be 200. Never mind. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to... This might backfire... But I want to have more of the Pegasus ones go first, which I know it has the lowest rate. But at a 1%, you think, like, you should probably save these for later and then let the Dooms uh, go off. But either way. We're used to seeing that one. Alright, so... <clears throat> Once I get to, I don't know, like a 10 stack is when I'll start using more of the uh, Pegasus ones. But also have to make sure to try to equalize them. What is the average stack that most people get their tier nines these days? I think it's like mid twenties to thirties. I know that's not the average, but that's like what I see most people getting theirs on. Okay. <clears throat> All 
All right, so let's let me actually calculate this. If I were to spend 2.5 mil, that's what the max price of these are. <clears throat> and you need 100 of these. That's 250 mil. Plus you cron every attempt. And if you get them from the vendor, that's 3 mil each. It's like 550 mil per click, which doesn't feel that good, actually. For like, it should start at 3%. Similar to the way a tier 10 starts at 3%. But, um, it is what it is. So, yeah. The first click was double, so it's like... 900 mil or something for the first click, and then... 550, or like 250 plus 3... Yeah, 550 per click after. So, about... 1.5, 1.6... Plus 900 is, yeah, two and a half billion silver down the drain. Obviously, it's not like this for me, but if you were to spend normal value, that's how much it is. 2.5 plus another five, that's three bill. Math. Three point five. That one lingered a little bit. <clears throat> I thought it was gonna go. All right. So the highest chance right now we have is to get a Pegasus, followed by a Doom, and then this one is a Unicorn. A little over four bill after this click. I've always said this to people. If you're trying to get your first tier nine horse, just buy it off the market. Trust me, like most people, it'll cost more to make it. And even after you make it, let's say you save money, you still have to train your horse, which takes time. And like, you also have to get the right skills and do those horse training coupons. It's just kind of a pain. And like, I think like overall, you'll probably do better. Just buying the one you want and you can guarantee it. It's so a good news that these Krogdalo thingies are actually at an all-time low ever since they buffed Gyphon. Remember when these are maxed out at 50 mil each and I used to buy them? Yeah, good times. Uh, it was not good times, actually. It's about 5 billion. Actually, hold on. No, we, we can't go over 100. Otherwise, it uh, it takes 1% instead of 2. Let's see. We want 20 of these. And 5 of those. Attempt number 10. It's like 6 billion silver. I wonder if I could get it in under 20. So like 10 stacks is the equivalent of one attempt for uh, tier 9 to tier 10. Going for horses. <laughs> Man, dude. What in the world? <clears throat> 
So about like 5.5 bill plus 900, yeah, 6.4, maybe. Yeah, this is probably about 7 bill after this click. That one kind of lingered a little bit. Um, okay, so we're kind of equalized in, in this a little bit. So let me... Hold up. Let me equalize the materials and then see where we're at. So we're at 10. And... 6. Okay. 8 billion silver. Man, the things we do for content in this game. <clears throat> so if it goes, the highest chance of getting a Pegasus followed by Unicorn and then Doom. But you know, RNG is RNG. Like it doesn't really matter. You just kind of get one. Or it doesn't even go. Alright, so let me start adding more into here. Um, start that. Still highest on Peggy, followed by Doom and then Unicorn. Fine. Man, all these materials just kind of add up over time. All these new players don't know what it's like. You know how they gave us two free tier nines back in, or like not even back in the day. It was just like within a year. I should probably start pumping more points into Unicorn. This is what it really feels like to get tier nine. No free handouts here. <laughs> I thought that was going to go. This is what it feels like clicking 10 black stars and stuff. Um, okay, let's 20, 20, well, that's at 4.6 already. Holy dude. Okay. Um, we want to add about 10 of these. Yeah, we're at the point where I kind of want to make sure the Pegasus is at, like, slightly higher. Not that it really matters, but... Alright, attempt number 20. Uh, let's add 25 of these. Five of those. How many more do we have? Uh, this is probably 100, 200%. 300, 400, it's about like four more attempts, I think.
chance. So right now we have the highest chance of a unicorn. In total, I've made two Pegasus tier nines. I think three, three unicorns and uh, two dooms. We'll calculate the cost of all this afterwards. So 22 clicks so far. Let's see, 21 times 550, that's like maybe 11 bill plus the initial cost is, yeah, probably around 12 bill. So if you're at this point, it probably would have been better to just buy it straight up. <clears throat> For me, in this case, we only just lost crown stones. Twenty three. I think we have one more attempt, actually. I'm not one hundred percent, maybe two. All right, 24. What do we have? Ooh, that, if it goes, that's going to be a doom. Oh, didn't even go. Let's see how much more. Of 138. I want to see if I could do one more attempt. How would I <clears throat> get enough materials? I think you can actually buy them with loyalties. How many can you buy? One. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, last actual attempt for today. Missing a crog. And one more. All right. Thank God these are cheap nowadays. Holy. That would have been mega expensive. All right. Last attempt. Number 25. All right, before we do this, <clears throat> 25 attempts. Let me pull out the calculator. Yeah, so after this one, it would be about like 14.1 14, 14 or so billion if you were to have bought the materials yourself. What a fun game. 25 fails. And nothing to show for it. Minus 14 billion silver. Um, I think the worst I've ever had was like... 48 stack. For a tier 9. And then the worst for a tier 10 was uh, 21. <clears throat> So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Honestly, it doesn't really feel too bad because I didn't really use the uh, paid materials. I just used the ones that they gave us for, like, events and everything. I lost 2,500 Cron Stones, but, you know, whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess we'll continue this at some point. 
but I'm not gonna buy materials. So whenever we stock up more, or whenever they gave us more of these for events and stuff, uh, I guess we'll continue this journey. But until then, we got a fat 25 stack, and I will see you guys later. Peace.